The Batchat 25 TAP is one of the two available Tier 9 French medium tanks, both of which lead on from the AMX 1390 at Tier 8. The Batmobile can be played in three roles, and can excel in either. It can be played as either a support vehicle, a scout, or an assassin. The six round 100mm autoloader that this tank can use is excellent at dealing utmost of 1800 damage to a single target in 16.38 seconds. When playing the Batchat 25 TAP, you should try and remain alive for as long as you possibly can to maximise your damage output with this excellent 100mm gun. However, the tank can also fit two other guns, and although I've never had to play with them because I already had the 100mm gun unlocked from the 5100 at Tier 8, I imagine that the playstyle remains the same. However, a more passive role against Tier 9 heavies and Tier 10s would benefit you until you can get the tracks, engine and top gun needed to turn this tank into an utter monster. Because of its magazine-fed autoloader, the 25 TAP is exceptional at assassinating immobile targets such as tank destroyers and most Tier 8 and 9 heavy tanks. However tempting it is to YOLO your tank across the battlefield at the first sight of an immobile tank, just remember that this style of gameplay very rarely pays off, and you'll more than likely be killed before you can deliver the killing blow to your target. As a result, play as a passive or active scout at the start of the game whilst your magazine reloads. Then either find an isolated target or fire off a magazine at your opponents from a safe distance to soften them up for your team. That is the role of a support vehicle when you choose to play in this way, which is very effective in tier 10 games and will allow you to help the team without having to lose your hit points in the process. The 100mm gun that the Batchat 25 TAP gets can be kind of irritating to use at long ranges. With a dispersion of 0.35, it's not the most accurate gun, but at close range you don't really need the accuracy anyway, and it has an alright aim time of 2.4 seconds. The downside of the Batchat 25 TAP's 100mm autoloader is that it carries very little ammunition, 30 rounds in fact, which is only enough for 5 magazines. This means that your maximum damage output per game is 9000, which can be bothersome if you're in a position whereby you need to carry the game. As a result of this, you quite often run out of ammunition in carry situations. I recommend either taking 30 rounds of standard armour piercing, or 24 standard AP and 6 APCR, for when you need the extra penetration to win at the end of the game. Its armour is awful, and will be auto-penned by almost everything that shoots at you. This includes a lot of tier 7 tanks, which means that, like most French tanks, you should treat every shot that can be fired at you as if it will damage you. For example, if you saw a lone Jagdpanther 2 and decided to assassinate him, providing that you take a hit, you'll lose about 490 hit points in the trade. However, if three IS-3s turn up, that total goes up to 1660, which means that you should probably run the hell away and come back for the Jagdpanther 2 later. On the topic of running away, like all good French tanks, the Batchat 25 TAP is exceptionally mobile. With a top speed of 65 km an hour, you can easily get across the map in a matter of seconds. This means that shoot and scoot gameplay when playing the supporting role for your team is very beneficial, but you don't care about that, do you? You want to know all about the balls to the wall, all in aggressive assassin playstyle which the Batchats are known for. The mobility of this tank allows you to circle strafe everything you end up fighting as well as allowing you to avoid incoming fire by engaging Warp 9 and getting the hell out of dodge when a situation calls for it. This excellent manoeuvrability allows you to relocate easily when you're spotted, or when the enemy is getting too close while you're reloading. When it comes to equipment and crew skills, you should take coated optics, vertical stabilizers, and vents. This will maximize your view range and overall effectiveness on the battlefield. For crew skills, train Sixth Sense and Brothers in Arms, then train Brothers in Arms on your commander and Concealment on the others. Then Concealment on your commander, Snapshot on your gunner, and Smooth Ride for your driver. Then depending on your playstyle, either Repairs on all three, or choose offensive skills like Recon on your commander, Armour for your gunner, and Off-Road Driving on your driver. In conclusion, the Batchat 25T is an exceptional multi role vehicle. It can play as a scout, a support vehicle, or an all-in assassin for when you really want to annoy those tank destroyer players. 
It also sports a great 6 round 100mm autoloader that excels at removing your opponent's hit points in chunks of 1800, and is really quite good at taking out almost any tank the same tier and below in a single magazine. I'd like to thank everyone for their constructive feedback on the last 5 minute guide I made on the M4A1 Revalorize. I appreciate that this has come out a long time after the first one, but what can I say? I'm awful. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below, and if you didn't, feel free to tell me why. If you want to see more content like this, then be sure to subscribe to make sure you don't miss a single upload, however far between they might be. I've been the Pleasant Pheasant, and I'll see you on the battlefield.